Hi, Hope Kids and Jam friends. Do you remember the promise God made to Abram? God promised Abram a name, a land, and children. God promised that Abram's family would be a blessing to all nations of the world. But years and years went by, and still Abram and his wife Sarai, who were very old, didn't have any children. How could their family become great if they had no children? This bothered Abram and Sarai a lot. Had God forgotten his promise? Let's find out how they learned that God is faithful. One night, God spoke to Abram. Don't be afraid, Abram. I am your shield. Your reward shall be very great. God wanted Abram to know that he would protect Abram and reward him. Abram said, how can this be true? I still don't have any children. God said, you will have a son. Look up at the sky and count the stars. Your family will be like that, more than can be counted. Have you ever tried to count the stars? There are millions. Abram will be the patriarch or leader of a great nation. Abram gazed up at the starry sky. He had a choice to make. Would he depend on God to keep his promise or keep this promise, which seemed impossible? The Bible says, Abram believed God. Because he believed God, the Bible says it was counted as righteousness. That means he was declared right with God. Abram believing in God meant Abram trusted that the one true God was powerful and faithful to keep his promises. Believing God was the most important thing Abram did, and, it was, and it's the most important thing that you can do too. One day, God spoke to Abram again. Sarai shall have a son, God said. Abram laughed. <laughs> he was 99 years old and Sarai was almost 90 years old. Could they really have a son? It seemed totally impossible, but God wanted Abram to see that with God, nothing is impossible. God changed Abram's name to Abraham, which means father of many nations, to remind Abram of his promise that seemed impossible. God changed Sarai's name to Sarah, which means princess, and promised she would be the mother of many nations. God was promising to Abraham that through his family, the savior of the world would come. God also said to Abraham and Sarah that, that Sarah really would have a son and that they would name their son Isaac. One day, Abraham, Abraham had special visitors from heaven. Let's watch to find out what happened. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Miss Veronica with Hope Kids TV reporting live outside the tent of Abraham in the desert. I have Abraham and Sarah here with us today to tell us about some interesting visitors they had yesterday. Good afternoon, Abraham, Sarah, and thank you both for joining us today. Thank you for having us. We're glad to be here. Abraham, having visitors show up at a house usually isn't a big deal. What made these visitors so special? Well, Miss Veronica, they were special because of who they were. I saw them over by those trees, and as soon as I saw them, I knew it was the Lord with two of his angels. I ran over and asked them to come stay with us. While food was being prepared, I sat with them right here in front of my tent and talked with them. They asked where Sarah was, and then said, This time next year, Sarah will have a son. Wow, that must have been really exciting news. Well, I have to admit that I actually laughed. I didn't believe him. Look at me. I'm almost 90 years old and I'm going to have a baby? That's impossible. But the Lord knew I laughed and knew what I was thinking. He asked, why did Sarah laugh? Is anything too hard for the Lord? But I lied and said I didn't laugh at all. Then he looked at me and said, you did laugh. Well, there you have it, folks. Angels, babies, and laughing. Will Sarah and Abraham really have a baby in their old age? Keep listening for more information. This was Miss Veronica with Ho Kids TV. Have a fantastic day. Sarah and Abraham needed to depend on the fact that nothing was too hard for their faithful God. About a year later, God gave Abraham and Sarah a son, Isaac which his name means laughter. Abraham and Sarah rejoiced because God made the impossible possible. 
God had kept His promise. God is faithful. The next time when you are put into an impossible situation, um, pray and depend on your faithful God to keep His promises.